Uh, so, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank uh, the organizers of this for giving us the opportunity to make this presentation on what we do, what we do uh, for the primary prevention in sickle cell anemia in Nigeria, a result from our uh, stroke prevention in Nigeria trial. So I'm presenting on behalf of the rest of the team. Sure, can you make it a um, slideshow? Uh, okay. Good. So uh, I know pretty much everybody is aware of these slides. More than 300,000 babies are born with sickle cell anemia annually. And Nigeria is a country uh, with the largest population of sickle cell anemia in the world, where approximately yeah, okay. for us now. There is high prevalence of stroke in children with sickle cell anemia in Nigeria. Uh, children with sickle cell anemia have the highest rate of ischemic stroke and the prevalence is about 10% uh, by the age of 17. And estimated per birth cohort per year, about 15,000 children uh, will have stroke in Nigeria. So approximately 50% of these children that had stroke will eventually have stroke recurrence within two years without uh, treatment. The primary stroke prevention in children with sickle cell anemia in high income settings like the United States is a routine screening with transcranial Doppler ultrasound, a measurement of uh, transcranial Doppler velocity in the middle cerebral artery and terminal portion of the internal carotid artery. And for those with abnormal transcranial Doppler velocity of greater or equals to 200 centimeter per second, we receive regular blood transfusion therapy for at least one year. And uh, uh, with the option of those without evidence of MRI uh, defined cerebral vasculopathy after one year of blood transfusion can be transitioned to hydroxyurea at maximum tolerated dose. But given that regular blood transfusion is not feasible option for the vast majority of children living in Nigeria. Um, furthermore, there is li limited data available to determine whether initial treatment with hydroxyurea rather than blood transfusion uh, is a durable therapy for primary stroke prevention. So with this in mind, and to address this gap, uh, we conducted the first uh, primary stroke prevention in Nigeria children with sickle cell disease. Um, uh, the first is the uh, stroke prevention in Nigeria, that's the SPIN trial, uh, is a single arm feasibility trial to determine the acceptability of moderate fixed dose hydroxyurea, approximately 20 milligrams per kg for primary stroke prevention. We tested the primary hypothesis that moderate fixed dose hydroxyurea is feasible intervention for children with sickle cell anemia and abnormal transcranial Doppler velocity of greater or equal to 200 centimeters per second. We also established a strategy for hydroxyurea toxicity monitoring and creating stroke prevention team in Nigeria beyond the setting of clinical trial. So the specific aims for our stroke prevention in Nigeria trial uh, to determine the acceptability of hydroxyurea therapy for primary stroke prevention in children with sickle cell anemia in preparation for the NIH-sponsored multicenter phase three trial. Two, to establish a safety protocol for using hydroxyurea for primary stroke prevention um, in a clinical trial setting for one year in a law uh, income country and to complete the necessary preparation 
for a definitive phase three trial. So this trial was accepted for both children and their parents. We demonstrated a high proportion of recruitment where 90% of the children approach agreed to participate in the trial. We also demonstrated high proportion of enrollment of eligible participants in the trial. 92% of eligible participants agreed to participate in the trial. We also demonstrated high rate of adherence to monthly uh, research visits, where we demonstrated that we had no missed visits uh, throughout the trial. And then we also demonstrated high rate of adherence to hydroxyurea by monitoring the uh, 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 increased rate of uh, MCV. Uh, so the successful completion of the first NIH-funded uh, sickle cell disease trial in Africa. This was published in the American Journal of Hematology and uh, is available uh, free access uh, online. So we decided to extend this feasibility trial for another uh, uh, two years. The initial follow-up period was uh, for three years. So we decided to extend this feasibility trial for another uh, two years. Um, so the median uh, time uh, on hydroxyurea therapy follow-up was approximately 4.8 years. The stroke incident rate uh, among participants on hydroxyurea was 0 0.76 per 100 person years, which is not, uh, uh, which is similar uh, to um, uh, it's not significantly different from incident rate. Uh, there were no participants that had their hydroxyurea withheld due to myelosuppression throughout the trial. There were 19 deaths in the comparison arm and no death in the treatment arm. And the incidence of uh, the death is not significantly different. And also the final result of this moderate dose hydroxyurea for primary prevention in Nigeria uh, was accepted and published in the American Journal of Hematology. Uh, so with that result, we, now, we, are, we were now funded uh, for the first three stroke prevention trial, uh, the spring trial. The hypothesis for the randomized control trial in Nigeria has dual purpose. Uh, for children with abnormal TCD measurement, Moderate fixed dose hydroxyurea, approximately 200 milligrams per kilo, will result in statistically significant decline in stroke when compared to low dose hydroxyurea. So, in this definitive phase three trial, which is a multi center, partially blinded uh, trial, we uh, compare the effectiveness of moderate dose hydroxyurea that is up. Uh, versus 10 milligram per kilogram, which is low dose hydroxyurea. The specific aims of the study uh, were one to determine the efficacy of moderate versus low dose hydroxyurea therapy for primary stroke prevention and to determine the efficacy of moderate dose hydroxyurea therapy for decreasing the incidence of all cause hospitalization when compared to low dose hydroxyurea therapy, and also to assess the long term safety for the hydroxyurea therapy for the participant in the sprint trial. It was a three site randomized controlled double blinded uh, 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 phase three trial where 220 participants with abnormal transcranial Doppler velocity of greater or equals to 200 centimeter per second 
were consented and randomly allocated to low dose, approximately 10 milligrams per key, or moderate dose, 20 milligrams per kilogram. We also enrolled 220 participants with TCD less than 200 centimeters per second uh, in the comparison arm. So the other aspect of this trial is the capacity building component. Uh, we established uh, a communication plan where we conducted a weekly executive meeting every week with all the uh, trial leadership, the coordinating center and all the site coordinators uh, to review the enrollment process, the study protocol and study site challenges. We also conducted a weekly data meeting with all the site uh, 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 research assistants, uh, research coordinators to review the rec recruitment and enrollment process, study adherence, data quality, and regulatory governance. We also conducted an uh, TCD training and certification. Uh, we established the first regional TCD training program for radiologists and non-radiologists in the four major hospitals in Kano and also uh, a hospital, the other center in Kaduna. We developed standard for TCD training and certification. Uh, uh, we train in addition to the radiologists, the nurses, the medical officer on how to conduct the TCD and they were certified. We also build uh, a stroke detention detection team, a new team members with expertise in epilepsy and neurodevelopmental disorder from the coordinating uh, center of Vanderbilt University, uh, visited uh, Kano, Nigeria and conducted three day workshop on two separate occasions to nurses, community health extension workers, medical officers, uh, on how to identify stroke and seizures and review cases of patients with suspected acute neurologic uh, injury. To ensure uh, sustainability of the program and community ownership, we signed a mem memorandum of understanding with the state leadership and the management of the uh, uh, four major hospitals in Kano and also the state leadership of Kaduna and Kasina. We, create, uh, we created a primary stroke prevention team at each site. We conducted TCD uh, screening and certification of uh, 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 nurses, the radio, uh, radio, radiologists, and medical officers at all the sites and also evidence-based neurologic evaluation, the pediatric NIH stroke scale. And then also provided a handbook for hydroxyurea therapy that was translated in the local uh, Hausa language that was distributed to all the participants. And also the guidelines for sickle cell uh, management uh, at each site. We demonstrated high impact of um, uh, stroke detection uh, standard of care in Kano and Kaduna for primary stroke prevention since the memorandum of understanding was signed. So we were able to conduct, before this uh, COVID-19 lockdown, uh, we conducted uh, about 6,000 transcranial Doppler uh, measurements where we identified 322 abnormal TCD uh, TCDs. And those abnormal TCDs in the uh, memorandum of understanding we signed with the state leadership, we provided the training, the free TCD machine. Uh, on their own parts, the state leadership now agreed and provided free hydroxyurea for the participants that were identified to have abnormal TCD whose parents were not able to pay for the hydroxyurea uh, out of pocket. So since that time, uh, it's regular supply for hydro, uh, of hydroxyurea 
to all the major hospitals in Kano, Kaduna, and Kasina, and is available free for all eligible participants. There are also a growing impact of stroke detection in Kano uh, for secondary stroke prevention since the Memorandum of Understanding was signed. We identify uh, children with uh, stroke, uh, 385 strokes were identified, out of which uh, 253 were children with uh, stroke older than 30 days. I want to mention here that we were also funded uh, for the secondary stroke prevention. So the reason why we separated these children with stroke older than 30 days, uh, in our uh, secondary stroke prevention, uh, the inclusion criteria, we included all children with stroke less than 30 days. And for those with stroke older than 30 days were managed as part of standard of care outside the trial, where they received free hydroxyurea from uh, the free hydroxyurea consignment uh, by the state leadership. It takes a village to prevent stroke in children with sickle cell anemia. Uh, so uh, this our team. I would like to thank um, uh, uh, our team for making this successful and also the organizers of this meeting for giving us the opportunity to uh, give a brief overview of what uh, we are doing uh, in Canada. Thank you very much.